What you doing? Painting some resin fiberglass outside. About to ruin my table. I'm gonna ruin your table. It's Saturday. It's another video. What are we doing today? Well, it's the beginning of a long journey. So about a year ago, I picked up a 3D printer. It was random. Ended up buying a Creality Ender 3. Since then, he's printed a bunch of stuff. Got some kyber crystal crates, little droids he's made up. I've printed blasters. This is the scout trooper, the patrol trooper blaster. I printed an E11. We've done lightsabers. This is an unfinished Kylo Ren. And this is the episode nine, uh, I guess we could say Rey Skywalker now. And all of these files can be found on Thingiverse. Everything that we have printed is on Thingiverse. The best part about 3D printing is the final product. It's the, wow, I, I did this. Wow, we did this. Look at this on display. So you get great satisfaction out of it is what you're saying. Extremely great satisfaction. I'm waiting for you to print your first, I'll, I actually, you, you do have something that I printed for you. <laughs> A dimmer switch for my dining room light? Yes, the dimmer <laughs> switch in the dining room broke and she said, can you just 3D print me one? So yes, 3D printers have their upsides too for uh, fixing things in the house. Everyday use. So my favorite Star Wars movie is, Rogue One. I know. It might not be yours. I don't think it's yours. But Rogue One is my favorite out of all of the Star Wars movies. It kind of just, I guess growing up as a kid and watching 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, and that whole wondering, well, what happened between here and here? Rogue One just filled everything up. And my first major project that I completed on my 3D printer was the Short Trooper helmet. Now, this is in no way screen accurate it wasn't even done properly if i actually take out the foam you'll well you could probably see on the inside all of the glue it's just it wasn't done properly it wasn't painted properly it's not it's not the screen paint it's blotchy i rushed it i cursed how many if i was able to give you a dollar for every time i cussed i'd be rich but it was a learning experience there's that it was definitely a learning experience this was the sean fields Shore Trooper helmet, again, found on Thingiverse for free. It took about, I'd say, I wasn't printing every day, but I was printing enough where it kept me busy. I'd say I knocked this out from beginning to end in maybe three months, uh, I would say, roughly. Yeah, about I put that. it off here a little bit there. I'm happy with it, but it doesn't fit me. So wah, I'm, wah. I'm gonna have to print a brand new one. It fits me though. It fits my wife. So that once I complete the new one, this will be her helmet. <laughs> so what goes good with the helmet? Our next big endeavor, which would be printing the whole armor suit. We are going to 3D print this. The to whole thing. To fit me. Lord help us. Along the way, I'm gonna keep track of how often he curses how many rolls of filament we go through, how many cans of primer we blow through, and just general mishaps and obstacles we work through. We're gonna document this. This is not gonna be an overnight task. So we started printing last Sunday, and right now I have the chest piece, which would be right up here. It's because it's the whole front is in two different sections. I am expecting to go through between 10 and 12 rolls of filament. We just picked up a second 3D printer, another Ender 3, and I might have bought a Prusa Mini that is currently on back order until September. So we're gonna have three printers running. So right now we're in May, so that's all of May, June, July, August, September. I'm hoping within five months we can get another helmet, all of the armor, and the blaster, and we need Bondo, we need fiberglass resin, we need spray paint, which would be the filler primer. We need filament, we need sanding paper, we need, we actually picked up another orbital sander, paint brushes. We picked up so much stuff. Metal filers, paint brushes, you started researching the boots, the pants. So the short trooper comes in three variations. We have the captain, we have the squad leader, and we have the grunt. I have to decide which one of these, and we're not even there yet, but I have to decide 
which one of these I want to emulate. Right now I'm kind of on the grunt. But what do you guys think? Let's try and get a poll going in the comments. Do you think we should do the captain, the squad leader, or the grunt? So we're going to sign off. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. Give it a like. And we will keep you guys updated as much as we can on this long project. May the force be with you. Be with us. <laughs> we're going to need it. <laughs>